Speak, Big Mouth. Yeah. What, what's your what's your fight? Game? How many fights you have? Does it matter? Yeah, like, how many, how many I, I said, does it matter? Yeah, I mean, it's a fucking pummel hill, man. <laughs> Come on, Bobby. Hey, Big Mouth. Yeah. I'll take care of you tonight. You can shoot out your mouth off your life. Alright? Just keep talking. <laughs> you wanna do this now? You wanna wait till you can? Alright. Keep talking your shit. Well, I'm gonna do this. is gonna fucking talk tonight. You see me right? running, don't you? Yeah. No, you're gonna sit down because don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna fing dust you up tonight. You got no idea. I'm gonna use you as a I'm not good at doing that. Why? I'm gonna run everything. I'm gonna run a right hand. Do I'm gonna hit you so many times you're gonna think you're f***ing surrounded tonight. Get it all out now. It's all right. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Show up, Pete. I'll hit you with a f***ing chair. Keep talking. Well, you showed up for something. What the mm -hmm. something you want? You. I mean, you came here for a reason. Did you come to look at me to see how good I look? What'd you come here for? We'll see you look good. Did you psych good. yourself up when you're showing up tonight, maybe? We got a lot of people coming, Bobby. Better put it ready to show. What's your name? He's going to be embarrassed in front of a lot of people tonight. Embarrassed? Yeah. Embarrassed. I don't think Bobby will be embarrassed. I won't have him. Okay. I've known him for many, many years. He, he, he doesn't get embarrassed. What, what's, your, what's your fight game? How many fights you've had? Does it matter? Well, like, how many, how many guys I, I just said, does it matter? Yeah, I mean, there's a little bit. Mike, what are you talking about? Okay, no problem. You can pay attention. Anything else? You're good. Look, look at me. Do I look good? Take a look at <laughs> I'm looking at all the spots I'm going to be hitting. Yeah. There's a lot of a lot of space. Uh, well, you got a point there. And I'm going to give Deegan a nice big right hand in the eye. Oh, yeah. Thanks for taking my left hook to the chin and to the ribs. And thanks for taking the uppercut right on your chin, your chin. Oh, I'll sing you to sleep after I knock you on your ass. And I hope your mom and dad won't get mad because I'll be And I know that a song is the same. That bell rings. I don't know him anymore, yeah. and that's you know that's the bottom line. And I you know and I've been going through my ceremonies that I did back you know 20 some odd years ago when I fought. And it's like you know, I, you know I'm feeling. It's I got the vibe. Antsy, huh? Yeah, I know. I'm 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 so fucking relaxed. It's scaring me because it's like I know if I would have had this back then, I'd have been heavyweight champion of the world. If I'd have been able to capture this. I'd still be a bricklayer. See, how many guys around here got the balls to get in the ring with him? Huh? But he was a. Uh, but what he does not tell you, he was a, uh, no, I, a linebacker play, yeah, at the Northwestern. He was a wrestler, all state. Yeah, no, I'm a, I'm, I mean, I'm a good He's an athlete. athlete. Yes. You know, boxing is different than any other sport. I'll tell you. Which that. is half the battle. This guy is a conditioned guy. Yeah, you know I'm in mean? shape, uh, but boxing. I mean, I'm in shape too. Round is a shape. Last time I checked. All right. Good luck, guys. <laughs> See you later. I love it. A little pregame.
stuff out of you. Is he really serious? Like he thinks he's somebody here? Yeah. You better take care of this guy, man. <laughs> you better. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> he said, so this was not set up. He showed up to talk stupid. I guess you better so. pummel him, man. <laughs> Come on, Bobby. Get for the, for the boys from Glendale Heights. Come on. We're looking forward to it. The bell rings. The Kevin says Stone Memorial Fight Night is on. What do we have here? Uh, Italian Stallion. These are my little guy's shirts. Adult uh, track jackets. I've been doing this for seven years. I wish Kevin says Stone and his family, his family the best. I think the event's going to be awesome. I, I admire the guy a real lot. 49 years old, coming out and fighting, man. It's just, you know, taking no prisoners. I think it's a good cause what they're doing tonight. I think it's fabulous. Uh, they're raising some money. And it just shows the kind of heart that Bobby's got. Bobby, how long have you been associated with Hitbox? 30 years. Bobby's my friend. He told me if I didn't keep donating, he'd kill me. What do you think about him fighting today? If he doesn't drop a heart attack, I think he's going to drop the guy in the second round. And the other big thing is Melrose. Oh, I want to introduce you. This is Joe from Melrose Park. Hey, Joe. Yeah, how you doing? What, what am I on right now? Look, what am I on? <laughs> Difficult G ball. Everybody always says that. No more We're interviews. We're on cheaters. No You're more. You nervous? No. Not at all. No. Nothing? No. Not at all. Not even nothing. Why? There's nothing to be nervous about. It's like riding a bike. You don't fall off the bike every five seconds. Chris uh, Manettis. Oh, he's not, he's not we'll see how it goes. How are you feeling? I feel good. Tired's been a long day. You know that. We've been here since 9 o'clock this morning. It's, it's been a long day. I mean, Wado, how are you doing today? Good. Yeah? Are you going to be fighting today? Yes. You got a little exhibition? Who are you fighting? Derek. Like Eric, what are you coming out as? Eric the what? Little boy. Little boy. Little boy. Nice. Nice. Look at that. I'm scared about Look at that. What does it do for you like, training that early? What does boxing do for you? It gives them more experience, it gets faster, you get better at it. Right. Then if they wait till they're like 16 years old, then they're a little over age to start training. Right now they pick up all fundamentals and everything. The Kevin Sistone boxing match begins. And its first exhibition match is with the Pee Wees. It is an exhibition match, and it is for charity, so the boxers really don't want to hurt each other. But sometimes the Eagles get in the way. And now the event everybody's been waiting for, Mighty Mike Deegan versus Bobby the Hitman Hits.
That's pretty good. That was fun, I gotta tell you. I'll tell you what, you were having a good time up there. You know, for the first time in the ring since 1990, I felt pretty good. I'll tell you what, it looks like you were toying, you wanted to keep going another couple of Yeah, he's a tough kid though, yeah, he's yes, good, he yeah. He's been solid a couple of times. Yeah, he's a, yeah, he's, he's a good competitor, he's got a lot of balls, I'll tell you. Take a hit, yeah. and then he can dish him off. Yeah, yeah. it was fun. Go for breakfast, come on, let's go eat. Good job. Good job. You had a harder shot, good job. for sure. Wow. For sure. He was going down, Bobby. Where's my head at, Bob? Did you put it in here? Yeah. I, just, I, I, I wish I would have trained. Yeah, well. Well, I mean, I've been so busy trying to put this stuff together. And then today I've been here since, you know, nine this morning, or, you know, nine setting up and everything and doing all that. I had a really good time, you know, and, and you know, I enjoyed enjoyed hearing the crowd. I enjoyed, you know, like all the all the positiveness, you know, even though we were just putting on an exhibition for a charity, it was like, you know, everybody was, you know, pretty respectful. And, you know, I mean, as I'm walking, one guy said, fucking kill him like that. I'm just like, oh, come on. I mean, it's like, but that's cool that people were that into it. You know what I mean? It was cool. Stick around for another round of hits coming up next. I'm going to call George Foreman and see if he wants to, you know, give me one shot. And here comes George Foreman from Chicago, Illinois. Let's hear it for Bobby, the Hitman.